Good morning, kids. I hope and pray that you are all fine. Today, we are going to discuss measuring mass and capacity word problems. This is the Mimi of Woodrow's International School. Why do you need to know how to convert units? We use measurement almost every day in our lives. When you go to the store, items are sold by weight, volume, length, number of items, and many more. When you cook or bake, you need to make conversion of units based on the recipe. This cooking conversion can certainly assist us in the cooking process. In most of the world, recipes use the metric system of units, liters and milliliters, grams and kilograms. Today, we are going to continue our discussion on conversion of units in mass and capacity, but this time we shall solve word problems. First problem. This is a recipe for vegetable soup. This recipe is good for one person and these are the ingredients. 70 grams of carrots, 20 grams of onion, 20 grams of mushrooms, 90 grams of leek, 225 grams of potato, 8 grams of garlic, 330 ml of water, and 15 ml of vegetable oil. Calculate the amounts of each ingredient needed for the recipe if it was for 20 people. And then, convert the grams to kilograms and milliliters to liters. Now take note that this ingredients is good for one person. What about if we are going to find the recipe for two people. To find the recipe for two people, we will have to double the amount of each ingredient, right? So, if the question is, if it was for 20 people, we are going to multiply the ingredients or the amount of each ingredient by 20. Alright? So, therefore, carrots that is 70 grams multiplied by 20 is equal to 1,400 grams. How did we get that? How come it's 1,400 grams? So, applying your knowledge of multiplying by multiples of 10, you have to multiply the non-zero digits, which is 7 and 2. 7 times 2 is 14. And then, just add the two zeros. How many zeros are there? One, two. Then you have to add two zeros. One and two zeros, which is equal to 1,400 grams. Onion 20 times 20 is equal to 400 grams. Two times two is four. How many zeros are there? One and two. Then you have to add two zeros. So it's equal to 400 grams. Next is mushroom, 20 times 20. Again, the answer is 400 grams. Next one is leek, 90 grams times 20. So multiply the 9 and 2. 9 times 2 is 18. 18. And then how many zeros are there? 2. Add 2 zeros. So 1,800 grams of leek. Next is garlic, 8 grams times 20. 8 times 2 is 16, so just add one zero, 16 and 0, 160 grams. Water which is 330 ml times 20, multiply 33 times 2 is 66, how many zeros are there? 2 zeros, so therefore the answer is 6600 ml, and then the last one is vegetable oil which is 15 grams times 20, is equal to 300 ml. 15 times 2 is 30 and then just add one zero. 300 ml. Now the next one is 
convert the grams to kilograms and milliliters to liters. We are going to convert this amount in grams to kilograms and then the amounts in milliliters to liters. Now let's convert grams to kilograms and milliliters to liters. To convert grams to kilograms and milliliters to liters, we will divide by 1000 or move the decimal point to the left. Okay, the carrot which is 1400 grams. Let's convert to kilograms. So in any whole number, the understood point is after the last digit okay so the point is here let's move to the left three times one two three now the point is between one and four so therefore the answer is 1.4 kilograms next is 400 grams so the point is here let's move three times to the left one two three now the point is before 4, so therefore the answer is 0 0.4 kilograms. Next is 400 grams, so the same answer, 0 0.4 kilograms. Next is 1,800 grams, which is the point is here. Let's move to the left three times, 1, 2, 3. So the answer is 1.8 kilograms. Next is 160 grams. So the point is here. Let's move to the left three times. One, two, three. Then you just add zero. So 0 0.160 kilograms. Next is 6,600 ml. So to convert ml to liters, we can also move the decimal point to the left. Okay, so the point is here. Let's move to the left three times. One, two, three. So the answer now here is 6.6 liters and then the last one is 300 ml let's convert it to liters so the point is here one two three so the answer now is 0 0.3 liters next problem this is a recipe for pancakes this recipe can make 15 pancakes or 15 pancakes for 15 people and these are the ingredients 2 cups of flour 2 eggs and 2 one half cups of milk question calculate the amounts of each ingredient needed if it was for 30 people and then give your answer in metric units so the recipe of this pancake is good for 15 people what about if it is for 30 people what is the recipe that you are going to use or follow so if it is for 15 pancakes this recipe is for 15 pancakes for 30 people for 30 pancakes so you have noticed that 15 in when it becomes 30 it means to say that the amount or the number of pancakes is being multiplied by 2 or it's being doubled so therefore the recipe will become double okay so 2 cups of flour when you double it or multiply by 2 you will get 4 cups so we will be needing 4 cups of flour for 2 eggs when you double 2 eggs it becomes 4 eggs and when you double double two one half cups of milk it's equal to five cups because two two when you double two is equal to four and when you double a half it's equal to one so four plus one is equal to five cups now let's give the answer in metric units this is the conversion that we are going to use one cup of flour is approximately 150 grams and one cup of milk is approximately 240 ml 
So therefore, the recipe for 30 pancakes is 4 cups of flour, 4 eggs, and 5 cups of milk. So therefore, we're going to convert the 4 cups of flour into grams. How many grams of flour do we need? So 4 cups, 4 times 150 grams is equal to 600 grams. So in the recipe of 30 pancakes, we will need 600 grams of flour. And the number of eggs will still remain. And the last one is 5 cups of milk times 240 ml. Because 1 cup of milk is equal to 240 ml. So multiply 5 times 240, which is equal to 1200 ml. So for the recipe of pancakes, 30 pancakes, we will need 600 grams of flour, 4 eggs, and 1200 milliliters of milk. That ends for today's lesson. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice day, everyone.